Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial by Shana's Home DIY and Craft. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make t-shirts from home. You heard that right. I'll be showing you how to make t-shirt and to make money while being at home. So here we go. We have our t-shirt. We are using the Cricut Easy Press today. And as you guys can see, I pre-pressed my shirt. And the reason for doing so is to get all the moisture out of the shirt. Now I'm using my lint roller to make sure there is no lint on my shirt. All right, once I was done doing that, I went ahead and I used my t-shirt ruler. And I'm just lining that up on the shirt to make sure it's like both sides are even, okay? So here we go, we have our decal here, or my design that I've created. I did not show I created this, but yes, I did create this from scratch in Cricut Design Space. So here we go, I placed that on my shirt, everything looks nice, and then I just take up my easy press, Cricut easy press, sorry. And then I'm pressing at, it's hard to see, but I was pressing at 300 degree for 20 seconds, okay? So I'm just moving that along across the shirt, you know so 20 seconds could go by real fast you don't have to do that you could just hold it with medium pressure on your vinyl and you're fine now that vinyl is cool peel so i'm flipping the shirt over like you see i just did and then what i did once i flip it over i'm gonna do the same thing i did to the front make sure there's no moisture in the shirt we're gonna lint roll that and we're gonna go ahead and use our ruler again our t-shirt ruler and we're gonna put the um whatever we want to say our decal on the back okay so here we go we're doing our pieces now you don't have to do these in pieces like this however I was making a, a few amount of these shirts and I wanted to save as much vinyl as I can so I kind of like fit them on um, so they will fit on my um, 11 by my 12 by 24 mat so that's why you see pieces you could do a long cut if you want and um, leave it like that but I could, like I said I was doing a lot so anyways there we go I'm using my tape measurement on both sides even though you could use the t-shirt ruler just to make sure that I have that centered and everything is lined up being that it's not one straight cut it's pieces that I'm um, cut now if you do not have a t-shirt ruler all I'm showing you here is that you could go ahead and use your tape measurement and measure four inches down okay so that's all I'm doing once I feel like it's okay I went ahead use my Cricut easy press and I put that over it and I am pressing for 20 seconds as you guys can see it's counting down maybe it's hard to see but that's all I'm doing okay if it's your first time here welcome and for my continuous supporters thank you guys so so much I truly appreciate you guys I couldn't have done it without y'all once I was done pressing that I'm just shaking that out so it could get cool I'm gonna put it to the side so it cools off and then then I'll peel that off but that's the vinyl I'm using just in case you guys are curious what kind of vinyl I'm using I'm using that vinyl that I just showed and I'm gonna also have that link in the description box below so now my de my design is cool and I'm just peeling back off the transfer of the design and that's just it and that's what it looks like voila we have a t-shirt for the front now i like to go over my t-shirt again and do like a second press you don't have to do that but it's just me i think it's the ocd and me i like to go back over and do like a second press once i remove my decal so here we go where i'm going to show you guys how i press a large shirt it's the same thing i'm doing like i just did before but this is a 2x shirt so in case you have a large shirt and you're worried about oh I, well i can't press that shirt because it's too big you could go ahead and again you could still use your tape measurement measure four down or some people would say you could use four finger and measure um or you could just do the four inches down if you don't have a t-shirt um ruler or a square ruler whatever you have now if you notice there is a lot of space on both sides but i'm not worried about that all i'm worried about is that my ruler is centered on my shirt then i'm gonna go ahead with my tape measurement like you can see and we're gonna measure from one side of the mickey ear to the other ear we're gonna make sure that both sides has the same measurement so once we are comfortable and all the measurement looks the same like you see i'm going back and forth measuring then we're just going to go ahead we remove our ruler and we're going to use our easy press and now we're going to be moving our press all over because the decal is bigger than the press now you don't have to dance it all over like i'm doing you could just press one side first and then press the other side after but i'm using medium pressure and i just feel like 20 seconds goes faster when i move my e press the way i am doing so once i'm done pressing that and my 20 seconds is up again we're gonna just cool that out because it's a cool peel if you try to peel that off hot guys it's gonna ruin your vinyl so you want to leave it want to follow the instruction of your vinyl 
So we're doing the same thing to the back, flip the shirt over, let it roll it. And again, we don't really have to really pre-press it because we just did the front so all the moisture is gone out of the shirt. So we don't really need to do so. So I'm using my t-shirt ruler again and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I wanna make sure we measure on both sides to make sure that makes up for the difference and make sure our, our t-shirt ruler is in the center. Again, we have our foster, adopt and love, because family for this shirt, they, um, that's what they want on the back of their shirt and um, I provide what they need. So again, like I said earlier, you don't have to do it piece by piece like I did, but I'm just saving vinyl and I wanted to just do one cut. So I make it so it fits on my 12 by 24 mat. And there I am, sorry, oops, the head is in the way, but I'm just measuring to make sure that it's centered. It's not crooked when you have your shirt on. It's like the right shoulder, it's on the right side instead of the left side. It's supposed to be in the middle, okay? Not right or left, but in the middle. So that's what I'm doing, going back and forth measuring. And once I have everything in place and it looks good to the eye and good with the measurement, now I'm gonna go ahead again. We're gonna remove our ruler and then we're gonna get our easy press and we're gonna press. And that's about it. It's not hard, guys. If you want, you could try. Um, do it. It's not really hard. The hardest part, honestly, is to learn how to create design and how to get the word in and all that stuff together. Because there's more to it than just what it looks easy here. This is the easy part. The hard part is to create the design, especially creating those those um, Mickey. Because I create my own Mickey. So this is what it looks like when I was done with a few of these shirts. I'm just sharing. I'm not gonna show you how I press all these shirts because they're the same thing with different wording. So these are a few of them. I'm showing and it's saying wish dad, wish mom, wish brother, wish sister, and wish kid. And it goes on. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I'm just showing you how to make t-shirts from home, how to make money on the side. There's so much ways out there to make money. And this is one of the ways. I mean, everybody's making t-shirt, but these are for local people. So even though everybody's making t-shirt, not everybody's in your local area, okay? So go ahead and give it a try. You know, it's not that hard. Like I said, the hardest part is to do um, the design, but with some research and do stuff, y'all be good doing it. But anyways, so now I am going to pack these because they're not being shipped out there local. And because it's for the same family, I just pack them all on each other. And I like my to, mine to be nicely folded and everything. So we're packing them on that. And then we're gonna use one of those big clear plastic, I don't know if it's plastic bag, but packing bag. And once I do so, we're gonna get them in that um, clear bag. And then we're gonna put our thank you sticker on it and then it's ready for pickup now with all that I've been said if you enjoy watching this video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button click that notification bell also make sure you share this video with your friends and family this way they won't miss out now remember you can do all things through Christ who strengthen you until next time be blessed Oh guys, also make sure you go ahead and check out some more videos that are going to be popping up just on the screen after this video. Go ahead and show the channel some love. Click on those videos and check them out as well, okay? I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so, so much. 